Good morning folks, how you doing? It's Sunday today. Where's my, wait a minute, I, I've lost my, I've lost my uh, calendar, just a minute. That's better, I found my calendar. Listen, you can't go through life without a calendar, can you? you got to know what day it is, and you've got to know what you're going to be doing the next day, the day after. And listen, um, today I'm going to talk about my uh, Sunday sermon. This is a Sunday sermon. Every Sunday I come in, and those of you who don't know me, my name is Ron Bishop. I live in Timaru in New Zealand, and every Sunday I do a sermon. I'm a Christian, and I preach Christianity on a, on a, on a Sunday. Today I'm going to talk about a, another religion called atheism. Atheism, because I've got a, I've got one of my followers. I've got a lot of people around the world that watch my videos because I've done nearly 800 videos now, and, and they're coming online all the time listening to my videos. And one guy rang me up. No, his name was Dean. I can't remember his other name, but he came from Auckland. He rang me up and he, and, and and said how much he enjoyed my videos. Because I try and make them humorous and I try and put a bit of everything into them, you see. I'm sort of telling my life story every day as I go along. And I like to try and make them interesting and try and relate them to, to real life. And this morning when I do my uh, Sunday sermon, I'm going to be talking about myself because uh, that's the only way, that's the best way you can spread a message. The message of Christianity is spread by people sharing their t life testimony, how their life changed, and how life, my life changed because when I became a Christian. But anyway, when Dean from Auckland rang me up, he said, um, oh yes, I listen to your sermons, but he said, I don't believe them. He said, uh, because I'm an atheist. Uh, I don't believe in God. And I thought, ha, ah, that must be hard to do. How, how, how can you not... Um, believe in God, eh? Life must be very hard if you didn't have someone to lean on. You see, the reason I believe in God is because I can't do it on myself, by myself. It's too hard. Life is too hard. God almighty. Imagine trying to run my life by myself. You've, you've heard some of those things that happened to me in, over my, in my lifetime. Shot my brother. <laughs> Had a mental breakdown, put into, put into a mental home for five days against my will, sacked a woman, and they were going to come and sell my house. They threatened to sell my house. I got bipolar disorder. It was in the paper, Tim O'Hara put in the paper, Ron Bishop had got a mental illness. What else did I do? All sorts of things have happened to me. Now I've got a big problem with a woman, uh, Wendy Smith. I want to sacked. She's, she's, she's robbing the, the, the town of too much money. And my life, I couldn't handle all that without Jesus in my life. It would be impossible. Right? So, i got a mate called Murray, and he cuts my hair. Murray Gibson, good bloke. He's a Christian and uh, St. Mary's Church in Timaru, the Church of England one. Very good Christian. And uh, Murray said to me one day, I was giving him a haircut, and he said, Ron, we need you. I said, why? What do you need me for, Murray? He said, because of your experience. He said, um, did you know that Timaru has one of the highest suicide rates for teenagers? I said, no, I didn't know that. Oh, he said, yes, it's very high. It's increasing all the time. Teenagers are committing suicide in Timaru. Well, why? What, what's anybody doing about it? I thought to myself, was anybody doing anything about that? And he, I said, what do you want me for, Murray? He said, oh, you can talk to these young people. Well, I can, too, and I could talk to them. And I need, I need to talk to them. I need to get them in a room and sit down and uh, talk to them and tell them, how I shot my brother when I was a teenager and killed him. How I had a mental breakdown. How I nearly committed suicide. How I how how they they threatened to sell my house and put me out on the street, me and my wife. And, and then I wrote a suicide note and gave it to my doctor. 
I've had the experience. I know how it feels to want to commit suicide. Right? And I need to share, share that story with other people. Because I can help other people. And that's what I want to do. God is telling me. To do all, why am I, I said to God, why am I doing all this stuff? Why am I doing all these videos? Why am I coming on here every day? He said, God said, you are my voice. I'm using you, Ron, as my voice. I'm using you to get the message out there. The message is salvation. The message is don't try and run your life on your own. You've got to have help. You've got to have lean on a power outside of yourself. We've got to believe there is a power outside of ourselves. Now, there's lots of gods in the world. Lots of people believe in different gods, and that's good. Because you've got to, as long as you're believing in a god, as long as you're believing in there's something there to help you, you'll be okay. But if you're going to come out and say, well, no, I'm not going to believe in God, I'm going to be an atheist, you just, you just open yourself up for the devil. Because... There is a devil in the world that wants to put you down and wants to rubbish you and wants to uh, wants you to be a failure, right? And he wants you to commit suicide. That's his job. He's the opposite of God. You see, you have to believe in God and you have to believe there's a devil that's ready to, ready to, to take you down, okay? Just a minute. That was my daughter on the phone. She rang up from Australia. That's my youngest daughter, Sharon. She's a Christian, been a Christian for many years. Just like me, very much like me. And uh, she understands the power, of the power of the mind. But she doesn't go to church anymore. She used to go to church, uh, but now she, she lives life to the full. Uh, and, but she still relies on God. She's uh, underneath you see, once you become a Christian, once you've asked God into your life, He stays there. He stays there as long as you keep talking to Him and keep keep encouraging Him and relying on Him. If, if you don't rely on Him, if you stop relying on Him and try and do stuff yourself, it's going to go wrong. It's going to go pear-shaped for sure. So you've got to rely on God. Lean on God. The world is changing. People's attitudes are changing. We have gay marriages now. That is, that's in the Bible. The Bible is against gay marriages, but we're, they're increasing. All this immorality is happening around the world. And it's because people are walking away from Jesus. They're walking away from God. They don't have any, any, any ambition in life. I want to show you something. I'll just show, show, show you a picture. Just a minute. Now, I'm a professional motivational coach, and I do a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, and this is one of my charts. It's called your brain. On the left side of your brain is analytical, and on the right side is creative, Okay. Now, on the left side, we have your short-term memory, your logic and reason, reading and writing, mathematics, speech, singular facts, and recall. Okay? That's the left side of your brain. On the right side of your brain, that's creative. We have long-term memory, images and pictures, imagination, perception, musical, holistic, dreams and spiritual right so this is the this is your brain this is two sides of your brain and atheists have too much leaning on the left side of their brain they've got to have logic and reason the reason they don't believe in god is because they're very powerful powerful in the logic and reason everything's got to add up in Christianity or any faith at all, you don't rely on logic and reason. There is no logic and reason. You have to rely on your perception, your imagination, okay, your dreams, your spiritual side of your life, the, the right-hand creative side of your brain. 
Now what happens when people read the Bible, they read stories that they find hard to believe, right? Because it's not logical. Uh, but Christianity is all about faith. We believe by faith. We make that decision to become a Christian. When I, when I became a Christian, I had to make a decision. I had a choice. I could either commit suicide or become a Christian, right? I handed my life over to God because I wasn't handling it myself. I couldn't handle it myself. So I handed my life over to God and said, God, come and take over my life. Come and run it for me. And that's what he does now. He runs my life. The words that I'm saying are coming from God. I didn't know what I was going to say this morning when I got on here. I knew I was going to talk about atheism, but I didn't know what words were going to come out of my mouth. But what you're hearing is coming directly from God because I'm relying on him to give me the words to say. Can you understand that? Here it is. It's the Bible. Get one of these and start reading the, the New Testament. The Bible is broken up into two parts. It's the Old Testament before Jesus was born and the New Testament after Jesus was born. Okay? So read the New Testament because that's what's more relevant today. Okay? Now don't get too hung up on the the, the end times, the, uh, what do they call it, the... Uh, uh, a lot of religions get hang up on what's going to happen when we die, okay? I don't know what's going to happen to me when I die. I don't know whether there's a heaven or a hell. I just have to believe there's a heaven. I have to believe there's, there's got to be a better place than this, and there will be. I have to believe that, okay? And when you're a Christian, you just believe that. And, and, but don't, don't let it worry you. Don't let it worry what's going to happen to you. You can only ever live one day at a time, you see. Most people try and live tomorrow or yesterday. What happened on stuff, what happened st to us yesterday? We are, we're, most people are unforgiving. We, we had find it hard to forgive people who put it across us and trespass against us. We, we, have, we have problems with that. But you've got to believe. You've just got to believe in the Bible. Read the Bible. Read it. God, and ask God, just say, because Jesus is the one. Jesus is the one today. God is the Father. And Jesus is the Son. Okay? And you talk to God through Jesus. Okay? So talk to God through Jesus. Will you do that for us? If you haven't become a Christian, if you haven't taken, given your life to God, if you're an atheist and you don't believe in God, try it. Try it. See if it works. Okay? I'm going to end now, and I'm going to give you a little, a little ex exercise to do. Because first of all, you have to be convinced that Christianity works. You have to believe it works. And I'm going to give you a little exercise to do. It's based on the law of attraction. You've all heard of the law of attraction, that we attract to ourselves that which we think about. Circumstances around us happen be according to our thoughts, okay? Now, next time you are looking for a car park, I want you to say these words to yourself. Jesus, there's a car park for me right outside anywhere I want to go. Thank you, Jesus, for finding a car park for me outside where I want to go. And say that over to yourself as you drive around looking for the car park, Come round to where you want to go and there will be a car park. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. If it's not there at the moment, drive around the block, it'll be there. It'll be always be there, right outside anywhere you want to go. And that'll prove to you that you can actually talk to Jesus and Jesus will find you a car park. Okay? Got a little story? Good little exercise. See you tomorrow. I've got something special to do tomorrow. A, a bit of it more growling tomorrow, but never mind. Uh, you got to growl. And I said to Jesus, why are you making me growl all the time? He said, well, that's part of your life. I'm, I'm teaching others. Y you got to do that, okay? And I'm relying on God to give me the words to say. So I love you all. Become a Christian, will you? It's so easy. Just say, thank you, God, for running my life. I want to turn it over to you. 
I want, I want you to be my Lord and Saviour. Okay? And, and go to church if you want to go to church. Go and ask some other Christians. Find out. Ask plenty of questions. Okay? You have to do that. Will you do that for me? I don't. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.